Hi, James with the One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to teach you how to install a smart dimmer with no neutral wire. So what we've got here is uh, this is the Lutron Cassetta smart dimmer switch. Uh, allows you to control your light switches with Alexa, with Google Home, from your phone, or with Siri. So it works with all the major voice assistants. So we're going to teach you how to install this smart dimmer that does not require a neutral wire in this existing light switch. So this is just a standard light switch wired up here. And the number one thing, the first thing you gotta do is make sure that you have the power off. So we've got the power off. Uh, if you don't have the power off, go do that right now. Go turn it off at the circuit breaker. An easy way to do that is to turn on the light switch um, and then, so you've got the light on, then go down to the circuit breaker. And when you've turned off that circuit breaker, the light will no longer be on. If you don't know which one it is, just turn off uh, all the circuit breakers until you make sure that you are safe and you've got the power off. So. Uh, next thing we're going to do when the power is off is we're going to remove the uh, light switch cover plate. So we have done that right here and you're just going to pull this out. And the one thing about doing a light switch is it really doesn't take many tools. Uh, you got like a wire stripper here and a uh, screwdriver is really all you need. So now we're going to remove the light switch from the electrical box. So you can use a drill, you can use your screwdriver, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use the drill because it's a lot quicker for the video. And we're just going to remove that and pull this out. So we're going to remove this light switch, pull this forward, and uh, you're going to be able to see the wiring here on the side of the light switch so that you can pull this out. Now we've got the hot wire wired up here, and then this is the load wire going out to the light fixture. We need to remove both of these in order to install the new light switch here. So. Just, uh, you can loosen these up with a screwdriver or drill driver, whatever you want to do. We take those out, and the only thing we got left is the ground wire. We got to remove the ground wire on the top of the light switch here. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to remove the ground wire here, and we're going to get started then wiring in our new dimmer switch that does not require neutral. You can see all it's got on the back here is a ground wire, and You've got uh, two wires here, so a hot and a load wire. What's nice about these light switches, the Lutron Cassetta ones, we'll include a link below. Please click on that, it does help support the channel. Um, you can get these on Amazon. But what's nice about these is it doesn't matter if you wire it to hot or load, as long as you wire one to load and one to hot. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can't get this wrong, you can't reverse it the wrong way. So just make sure you get one on hot and one on load and you are good to go. Um, we're just gonna straighten out this ground wire a little bit so that it can be uh, insert it a little bit better into a wire nut. All right, so we're gonna connect the ground wires first. Uh, you don't have to, you could do whatever you wanted. Sometimes it helps a little bit to like kind of get the wire twisted around and start it a little bit when you're putting into a wire nut. So I'm gonna do that. And we'll put the wire nut on there. Get that screwed on. Let's make sure we've got this up here at the top. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but that is my dog. He is interested on being on YouTube, I guess. So uh, we will hang out with him in a little bit after this video, but uh, let's see, get that wire nut on. Okay, there you go. Getting a nice contact there and that is screwed on. Now the next one is we're gonna attach uh, right here, this wire to the uh, hot wire, the incoming hot wire, and then we're gonna put a wire nut on this one too, and then screw the wire nut on. Generally with these wire nuts, um, the thing you wanna do is you wanna screw them down until they start to twist the two wires. Um, that's generally when they are tight enough, you know that they're making good contact and connection there. Now we're gonna do this last one here and we're gonna connect it. So uh, you may or may not have a ground wire inside of your uh, light switch electrical box. If you live in a place with plastic electrical boxes, typically you will have a ground wire in there. If you live in a place with conduit, um, the ground wire is actually, the conduit is used for the ground. So it kind of grounds the whole system out and you won't usually see a ground wire in there. So in that case, you just want to attach a ground wire to the conduit box, a junction box, um, in order to get that in there. Now, one thing that I will say, with any smart light switch, you can see it has a lot more depth, typically, than uh, a standard light switch. So, you may have to do some origami to kind of fold the wires down in there. Um, that's why actually longer wires work better for folding wires into a light switch box. And once you get it down in there, uh, you might have to just keep adjusting how those wires are folded down in there so you can get it in. And we're gonna 
move this in a little bit. Okay, let's see. And it is hanging up. It's hanging up right here, which you shouldn't typically have this, but we'll move that over a little bit. So this is uh, in a junction box. Typically you wouldn't have these if you're in a plastic junction box, but this is just the connector. Uh, sometimes if you do have metal junction boxes, you do have to kind of move that around a little bit or adjust it a little bit, because that is what can hold these up. Um, and having a larger junction box does help. So uh, we've got the light switch in, and now we are going to screw it back in to the junction box here like so, and we're gonna screw in the bottom one. And you might need to adjust kind of, you know, how these align with other light switches on your wall or your cover plate a little bit. Um, that's a very common thing, you know, you wanna get them straight, so we're gonna do that. Um, you know, if you were installing this on a wall, so now we're going to then put our cover plate back on. Okay, screw in that for the light switch cover plate and we are all ready to go once we get this final screw in. And then you would be able to power this up and it would uh, work with your Alexa or your phone to be able to control the light switch. So now I'm gonna go turn the power back on and uh, you can see this working and uh, how this smart dimmer will work. Okay, so we just plugged the power in and you can see um, this light switch is operational. It is working, this is a smart dimmer and uh, you can turn it on or off with the top and bottom button or you can adjust the dimming and brightness from right here. I'm just holding my hand over the light because otherwise it's too bright for the camera. But that is how you install a smart dimmer without a neutral uh, wire. So for a lot of you, um, if you don't have a neutral wire and you want to install smart switches, this Lutron Cassetta is a good option. We do have another video that teaches you how to add a neutral wire, but most of you are going to find it is a lot of work to add a neutral wire. You got to open up drywall, you got to paint and patch. This is much easier. Okay, that took us just a couple minutes and we didn't have to wor worry about running all kinds of new wiring and everything. So that is a great way to get smart lighting if you don't have the existing lighting for a neutral wire. So we hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if this video helped you out and click on the links below if you want to support us or check us out at onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you.